Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I got a great deal for you today. This is Alton, the newest community by KB and Summerland. Can't wait to show you these homes. Now, Alton has the reserves collection right in front of us. We have a single story model here, the 1909. We're gonna see both of these homes today in today's video. And then we have a 3066 floor plan. This is a big two story home. One of the nicest floor plans and the best sellers here in the Las Vegas Valley. Now, why am I saying that this is a good deal? Well, they have already a waiting list and they've only been selling for about a week. They're not officially open yet. And they have over 20 people on the waiting list already. And uh, really nice uh, location. We're looking at Summerlin West, probably one of the most sought after neighborhoods in the Valley, just because we have uh, some of the best school districts as well as the best amenities. And location wise, you're looking at the highest price per square foot really in the Valley. And um, surrounded by mountains, we can literally see the red rocks right behind that, that hill right there. It is beautiful. And on the other side, we have also some strip views, which is awesome. Lot premiums are ranging anywhere between 26,000 going up to, to 85,000. And um, depending on the floor plan. Now, we're gonna tour this 1909 first. This is the single story. And then we have a 3063 on the other side uh, that we're gonna check out after. That one is up to five bedrooms and a loft. And then this one is uh, th up to three bedrooms. Sorry, up to four bedrooms. We have a nice cover front porch. This is on the the upgraded elevation, elevation C. Uh, otherwise, it comes with just a regular small porch right there without this extension that comes out. Uh, two car garage, three bedrooms, and a uh, and a den, including the base price. Now, starting price. Let's talk about starting price here. We have the 1909 starts at 700. In 19, well, $720,000 base price. The one next to us over there starts at $795,000. And why do we have a waiting list? I mean, this is, you'd say, okay, this high price range and everything, but you gotta look at the comparable homes. In this neighborhood, we pretty much only have luxury builders like TriPoint and Toll Brothers, maybe some Pulte's. And KB came here and they're pretty much uh, undercutting all these builders with very low prices. And you can tell from the waiting list that it is a good deal. Up, uh, 10 foot ceilings, it comes with the nine foot ceilings in this house. You got a nice hallway. Den is right there, one bedroom on to the right. And then the first bedroom over here to the left, we'll go check it out with the bathroom here. Now, first bedroom is about 10 by 11. We have a sliding door closet. We see 10 foot ceilings in this uh, home. They're about, I would say, $7,000 I'm an upgrade to get. It comes with the nine foot ceilings. And uh, when you get to 10 foot ceilings, you also upgrade to an eight foot door as well. As we go into this uh, first bathroom, you can see the extended vanity. Now this vanity is actually included in this neighborhood with the one sink. You can add a second sink here and extra cabinets underneath for just like $1,000. A fiberglass tub and shower that's going to be in uh, coming included and then it'll come with chrome fixtures throughout the house the black is an upgrade as we go in here linen closet now this will be the second door to the second bedroom if you decide to turn this den into a bedroom you can also decide to add some uh, double doors here with the glass finish to make it a really nice touch uh, this is about 10 by 12 this loft so it's a pretty good size sorry this uh this den over to the right we have our garage entrance which is a two-car garage it is locked because they use it as storage and over to the left here we have a powder room so this is two and a half bathrooms this house they upgraded all the tile you know i don't talk much about the tile and these things that they put in the model homes because they only put it into the model homes. They don't even offer the design center. So all the wallpaper, that stuff doesn't matter. As we see here, this bedroom is probably the biggest one out of the spare ones. And you can see it's about, yeah, 12 by 12 and a half by 10. Very spacious. You see this dresser, there's plenty of room. You have a full size bed easily. You can fit a, king, a queen bed in here and then your sliding door closet as well. As we go back in here, we'll see the den. We'll go through the den and we have this extra coat closet here. And uh, technically you could turn this into an extra pantry because we're right next to the kitchen. 
although the kitchen does have a pretty good size pantry already and it is a very nice open floor plan you have this l shape here overseeing your living room and your dining room now in this model what they did is let me give you a shot from this other side um in this model what they did is they put in the the tv on that wall but you can easily put it on this wall as well if you want to have uh, a view from the kitchen and then you can have some different kind of uh, couch set up right there plenty of room in your dining room uh, as far as the texture finish in this one we have uh, the santa fe finish if you guys can see it this is an upgrade it's about a thousand something dollars to upgrade and then what's beautiful about this neighborhood also because you're in summerland you get a lot of op options already included such as the cover patio outside is included you get the front porch if you get that elevation and then uh, you get also upgraded cabinets similar to this shaker cabinets are included they have four colors that you can choose from then they also include the gourmet kitchen so you get the cooktop with the four burners Whirlpool and also your microwave above your cooktop and then you can see here the double oven included in the base price as far as the kitchen countertops you're gonna get uh, four options of granite and also quartz options just a white speckled quartz if you want the quartz that's gonna be also included in the base price pretty much most of these items are included other than the countertops and the backsplash in here as far as flooring, that's where um, most of the money is spent. Usually for this house, you should expect about $15,000 for this specific flooring. It is a, a nice um, tile that they put in here, but uh, that's something that you don't necessarily have to do with the builder because you can pick one of these lots and you can build it from dirt. Refrigerator, not included. That's about $1,400 at the design center. And then you can see the pantry here it has a lot of room. It is a corner pantry like this. There's no racks behind you here. Uh, they do put these uh, chicken wire racks, which is a bummer, but those are super easy to take out. You can do your own custom um, pantry right there. Eight by eight sliding door is an upgrade. It comes with a six by eight, six in width. And then, uh, yeah, really nice. You got three windows on this wall, the big slider. Going in here, we'll go towards our primary bedroom which has the laundry room over here. So washer and dryer. There's no option for a sink or anything. They upgraded the tile on the wall again, not included. The primary bedroom is very spacious. You have about 13 feet on that wall, but this wall is pretty long. It's about almost 20 feet, about 18, 19, I would say. Dresser, there's plenty of room here for a little retreat. And uh, king size bed, you got two windows over here overlooking the backyard, which we'll go there in a second after we see this primary bedroom. As we walk into the primary bath, you'll see also, comes included with a tub and shower combo, but here's the thing, you can do, you can have a couple options. So included uh, door to the water closet. You have a couple options here. Uh, you can do the extended shower that you see here for about, I think it's about uh, two grand or so. And then you can do the super uh, bath, uh, the super uh, primary bath, which means it's gonna have a stand, uh, a stand up shower, about three by three, so a little bit smaller than this one. And then it's gonna have a tub right next to it. Now they change things out a little bit here. They make this slightly smaller and they fit the tub and then the shower will go pretty much right there all the way until that wall, making this primary closet slightly smaller because here you have this uh, cut out here for this closet. This will be gone because this is where the shower is gonna go. And then you have the tub. Nice size closet though, plenty of hanging space. If you don't need a tub, you can just do the extended shower like this one, which will give you a little bit more closet space. Going out to the backyard, and we're gonna talk about numbers right now in a second. Uh, going to the backyard, you'll see they have some beautiful lots here that, so covered patio, by the way, included. And then backyards, they're gonna be around 25, even more than, yeah, 25 feet from wall to back fence. Uh, if you get one of the lots on the perimeters here, there's a, there's a small street, neighborhood street, so you're higher 
than the neighbors behind you, which gives you a beautiful view of the strip at the moment. However, there's gonna be single stories back here. I know it's Toe Brothers coming in with some luxury single stories. Probably gonna be about around 1.5 million, but uh, I'm not sure if you can clear the strip views, but you'll still have a beautiful scenery with no neighbors behind directly. And these lots are going for about $50,000 right now on uh, with without neighbors behind in Summerland. So that's a pretty decent, uh, pretty pretty good deal in my opinion. Just, you know, it all comes down to location at the end of the day. So you're getting one of these lots with no neighbors behind, giving you the privacy in a top neighborhood here in Vegas. Now, uh, we're going to go see that 3063 plan. And uh, that one is uh, pretty much the best seller. So if you're looking for a house that is big enough, you know, with the 3,063 square feet, this is going to be it now what i like about this one from an investment standpoint is going to be amazing because starting price is 795 anything this square footage goes for 1 million plus starting price anything in this square footage so you're starting at less than 800 they're gonna sell like cupcakes in fact they are cover front patio here cover patio walking in here that's the cool thing about this house. Get a nice two-story foyer. Give you that luxury feel when you walk in. 10-foot ceiling is also an option downstairs. In this house, we don't have the 10-foot ceilings. We'd love to see this floor plan with the 10-foot ceilings. As soon as the powder room here downstairs. What they did is they actually extended or something. Usually it's a, it's a lot smaller. But what you can do is, uh, I think this is uh, handicap accessible, accessible, that's why. So they had to extend a little bit more. Uh, but here what you have is a full tub downstairs, tub and shower. If you get, um, you, you can actually opt for that one in addition to the primary bedroom having a full bathroom in there. Sorry, the, the bedroom downstairs having a full bathroom. Huge open floor plan, lots of light coming in, lots of windows on this side as well. Six by eight, eight by eight door, as I mentioned. Pretty much same thing as the, as the other house. This one does have the waterfall, it's about 1800 from what I saw from my client's list. And then you have a Whirlpool refrigerator optional. Nice size pantry in here. The gourmet kitchen, you can choose to get this, uh, um, what's it called? This canopy hood above, and then you will have the microwave over here instead of having the double oven. Huge open space, look at that. And then you can choose to get the 10 foot ceilings here, which, which is huge. Dining room is very spacious. Going outside, you'll see the balcony over here. On, on this house, which is where we're gonna end this video. But this is the cover patio already included, which is about 10 by 20, very spacious. And then obviously if you're getting the two story, you're getting also the balcony here. If you're getting one of these lots, that balcony is probably gonna cost you around 20 to $25,000 to add it. But I would definitely do so because the appreciation on, on the house because of it, knowing that you have some strip views, are, is going to be amazing so if you guys are interested in this house by the way guys or any of these homes out here on the market any new construction builds in the valley any resale homes would love to assist you and be your realtor along the way to guide you throughout this process and get you the best deal possible now let me talk about numbers before we go upstairs as we're going upstairs actually base price on uh, on the one next door 720 if you get like a premium lot like this one 55k uh, and you put in some upgrades without the flooring you'll be somewhere for the single story somewhere in the low 800s around 820 or so if you get something for this house but that's fully upgraded everything but the flooring with the flooring maybe 835 840 for this specific house you're looking at base price is 795 plus let's say 55,000 for a special lot premium you'll be at 850 base price 
plus upgrades, this house will take a little bit more in upgrades, especially if you do flooring. So you're looking at 60,000 or so in upgrades without flooring. That will put you at 910 out the door price, all upgraded, but the flooring. Usually flooring is something that is done after, but if you want to do just the downstairs here, you're probably looking around 12,000, well, 15,000 or so for a luxury vinyl plank, putting you somewhere around nine, in the low 900s, like 920 for this specific house, which all the competition is going to be 1.2, 1 1.1, 1 1.2 thousand, uh, 1.2 million dollars. Huge open space. The stair rails are an upgrade. This is going to cost you. The first upgrade is about 5,000. This one has the metal horizontal banisters. It's going to cost you around an extra five. So a total of 10. Huge loft. And then we have the primary bedroom there. To the right, we have bathroom. It's going to come with one sink. You can add the second sink. You can add a wall with the door to the toilet and the tub. Many options that they have available. Those are just a few grand. And you can literally customize this house the way you want it. You know, uh, let's go all the way around counterclockwise. So we're going to go to the first bedroom down there. Second is here and third is here. So we got three, four bedrooms here. Now this one has, this is probably the smallest room. It's a 10 by 11. That's a queen bed. You can see there's not much room to put in a dresser or something, but you do have a full walk-in closet. Now what you can do is you can also add another bathroom in this house. And that bathroom will be right here. Now this is pretty much the size of half a bathroom because there is another closet right behind us for the bedroom next door that will be um, that if you put in the bathroom, it will get rid of both closets and I'll tell you where, where they will go. Uh, but pretty much you're getting full bathroom over here. Then you have a small sliding door closet right there, pushing this over, making this room pretty tight about a 10 by 10. Uh, that's the only downside, but you're getting a full bathroom, which is nice. Then same option over here. You'll have a little bit uh, that sliding door closet on that side, making this room about a 10 by 11. But right now it's pretty spacious, like an 11 by 12. Uh, so I think the ideal way is if you don't want the small bedrooms uh, is to keep it the way it is because you get the full walk-in closets and then they'll just share that bedroom, that bathroom right there. Although if bedroom count, I mean, bedroom size doesn't matter to you, you can keep, uh, you can get the extra bathroom. It'll definitely be a great option. Now this one is uh, pretty spacious too, about 11 by 11. And it has also that walk-in closet. I do like the fact that each room has its own uh, walk-in closet for sure. Laundry room now, this laundry room does offer you an option to add a sink over here for about 2,500 will give you the sink and all the cabinets, the countertop on it. Also the pre-plumbing too. If you want, you can just get the plumbing and do your own, uh, your own laundry room after. primary bedroom here very spacious king bed there's also a retreat over here to the left and then that will be your balcony access let's go see this balcony before we see the closet so the balcony is also going to be covered as well which is beautiful and uh this is these are options that you only get here in summerland really uh really rarely will you have something uh, where you can build something like this in any other neighborhood here in town. And having the mountain views, the strip views, and all of these options for something that's gonna cost you less than probably around $900,000 in this neighborhood is pretty much a steal, in my opinion. So, yeah, you're not getting maybe a Toll Brothers, you're not getting uh, uh, a TriPoint home, I understand the difference. But it's still a really good deal and appreciation wise, this is probably gonna outpace all the other homes in this neighborhood. As we go back in, see this closet. Oh, sorry. Now this closet is pretty good size. Now, if you do, 
I forgot when you put the bathroom all the way down there in that bedroom, those two closets kind of shift on the other wall. So this closet will be slightly smaller because the bedroom that next door is going to have a closet right here. It's going to be like a four by four. So it takes off a little bit of that end of the closet. So you have plenty of room. If you go onto the website, you click on their floor plan, it will show you the option with the full ensuite over there in the back, how it changes all the closet situation. It's difficult to explain now on the video. Then this one has a super primary bed, which is about $3,000 of an upgrade. Otherwise it comes with a regular tub and shower combo, as I mentioned, water closet all that good stuff so let me know what you guys think down in the comments if you guys have uh, any questions if you need help purchasing this house or and you know guiding you throughout the whole process i would love to be that realtor to do that for you and get you the best deal possible uh, all my information is down below or you can call me at 702-606-4815 thanks for watching hit the like button subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys on the next one